This is a custom budget and workstation PC built by Haste Repair. And this is all put into a Cooler Master Q300L PC case. And this case features some decent airflow, some nice magnetic dust filters, and a plastic side panel where you can see everything working inside. So we have an i7-2600 CPU, four cores, eight threads, and that is put on a ASUS P8H67-M Pro motherboard with 16 gigabytes of Kingston RAM, DDR3, 1600 MHz. And we have a Founders Edition GeForce GTX 970 graphics card, 4 gigabytes GDDR5. There's the 600 watt Thermaltake Smart Series power supply. And for airflow, we have those three up here white LED case fans, two for or one front intake and two exhaust. And that's an up here CPU plus heatsink combo with a blue LED fan. A little harder to see, there's a Cooler Master stock case fan providing more air intake fastened into the bottom there of the case. And so the, the idea is to provide a nice cool airflow for the blower style fan on the graphics card. So on the rear I.O. of the motherboard, we have 4x USB 2.0, 2x USB 3.0, old style PS2 mouse and keyboard port, and a variety of display outputs you won't use because the graphics card has 3x display port, HDMI, and DVI. There's also audio in and out on the back of the motherboard, and that's an Anatel PCIe Wi-Fi adapter card. So over to the front I.O. of the motherboard, of the PC case rather, that's 2 times USB 3.0, the power button, and microphone and headphone input. So there's, for the Windows 10 boot drive, we have a 128GB Samsung PM871 solid state drive, and for games, 256GB Lexar solid state drive, for storage, 200 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive. So on to the games. How does it perform? Well, pretty well it turns out. This is Doom Eternal with V-Sync activated on high graphic settings. And you can see we get an average of 60 frames per second. And overall I had a, I can totally play this game just fine. Here's a demonstration of Skater XL. On very high or ultra graphic settings, it will average between 120 to 130 frames per second, uh, dipping a little bit higher or lower depending on what's going on on screen. And there's Dead by Daylight, which runs at an average of 60 frames per second with VSync on um, on ultra graphic settings. On a 1080p monitor, you'll have really good performance and this game will look good. And I played a few matches of Counter-Strike as well as ran this benchmark and as you can see when it dips down into the fog uh, we have around 40 frames or sorry 60 frames per second and otherwise 150 or 200 frames per second on average. Here's the Rise of the Tomb Raider benchmark. And just for fun, we ran the Tomb Raider 2012 benchmark.
coming up is the Unigine Heaven Benchmark run on high settings and ultra settings. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do with an i7-2600 CPU and GeForce GTX 970 graphics card combo in 2022. In my opinion this is a solid budget choice and paired with um, all the hardware that you saw in the uh, PC case tour, um, yeah, you can modify and update as time goes on and do it on a budget and still play all the games that you might want to play.